Hey there folks, in this video I'm going to show you a new feature inside of InDesign called Subject Aware Text Wrap, which will allow you to do things like this. So I'll start on this spread here which contains just one image and two separate text frames. Uh, all the work will be done in the Text Wrap panel which you'll find under Window and then under Text Wrap. Now if you've used this panel before, don't expect it to look vastly different. The changes in here are very subtle and we'll get to those. But if I select the image in the background, Notice that as it is by default, there's no text wrap applied to that. But should any one of the other four to the right hand side be applied to this, then wherever this image and some text share the same space in the layout, the text would avoid it in some way. But the option we're going to choose here is called wrap around object shape. And that was usually sort of reserved for things like artwork you import from Adobe Illustrator or shapes you make inside of InDesign or even Photoshop documents that have an alpha channel inside. When I click on this, it will initially apply text wrap to all of the image. So that's why the text disappears. But then down at the bottom under contour options, what kind of contour do we want to look for? Well, in our case, it's select subject. And that means it's going to look for anything in the photograph that has a defined edge to it, a contrasting edge in other words. And here in my trainer on that blue background, we get the path which appears around the trainer. So you do get an offset value, but it's only one because of the unusual shape of the tech wrap path in here so we don't get options for each of the edges but i can increase that value and i can expand the text wrap zone around there so maybe three millimeters is enough to give us a little bit of blue space around those laces in there so i can drop my text in and it will avoid them now with that applied i can then click away pick up my selection tool click away from there and then it is in a layer called images so if i lock that i'm not going to click on it by accident and then i'll just collapse the text wrap panel for now out of the way and then I would also suggest that you go to window type in tables and open up the character and the paragraph panel as well and then I'm going to click on my text and just drag it over here like so and the other one so we can see this a little bit clearer and I'll zoom in so first off if I tackle the text at the top in here um, if I click on that and drag it down you'll notice that it starts to avoid that region where the laces are but this is where you'll have to take a look at both the text frame itself, its size and the formatting. So if your text frame is too big, as in the width in here, then it will jump to the other side of laces. So you've got to kind of tackle the size of the text frame and then the formatting. So in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all my text and then I'm going to just change the alignment in here to center aligned. That should allow me just to be able to fit that text neatly between that sort of V and the laces in there. And then I'm going to go to the leading value. I'm going to drop this right down. So it's nice and tight inside of here. And then I'm going to hit the escape key on the keyboard and just pull this down a touch more in here. So it uh, sits a bit like this. And then of course the leading value is too tight in here. But what I can do then is I can double click in the second line down, select everything in there, and then just increase the leading just to pull it away from the text in that first line. Again, then follow that process and increasing the leading as well so I've, you know I've got some um, nice embellishments on the uh, on the H in there and the G and just want to pull those away from one another and then finally the bottom line in there increasing the leading value again just to pull it away and if I hit the escape key on the keyboard I've got my text in there pretty much the way that I, I want it in there really and then zoomed in a bit closer so we can see the other text frame here I'm going to click on that and drag and move it into where the laces are and again it depends obviously how you want to get the text to fit in that region i'm really trying here to get as much of the text just fitting nice and neatly along that curve in there like so and it might be that we've just got the odd word that doesn't quite fit in there so if i just pull this along a little bit further and then pull this back a touch might not um I you know, might not be able to tackle the, the word in there that's just popping out the side. But what you certainly can do then is you could double click on your text, select it all, and you could try the tracking value. So if I just go to the uh, tracking value in here and just knock it back a touch in there, that might give you all the text fitting inside of there uh, if you need it. Um, of course, then I could try and move that down a touch again in there like so to get that text fitting in there in a more neat way is to uh, lock my text, unlock the images layer. And if you double left click on your image that contains a text wrap, 
then it will reveal the wrap path in there. Switch to my direct selection tool and then you can click on the anchor points that are relating to that path and modify them. They will behave just like any other anchor point on a path. Um, it might be that the actual path itself doesn't look right, but really what counts is how your text looks in that region, of course. Uh, once I've finished editing that, then I'll go up to the edit menu, I'll choose deselect all. I'll lock my uh, images layer, unlock my text layer, and I can just try and just nudge that into a better position down at the bottom of there. So that's essentially how you create um, the new text wrap options inside of InDesign using the select subject feature. Thanks for watching folks. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, then of course you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. So every time we post a new video, you'll be able to check out latest tips and tricks and techniques. And until next time, farewell.